Hey guys, thanks for coming back out to the shop tonight. I uh, have a smaller tool haul here. And we're focusing all Amazon stuff here. But what I'm really starting to learn with Amazon is if they have the used product, it looks brand new and you get like 20% off. So I'll show you here. But uh, so we got the Capri Air Hammer with the chisels, uh, long reach uh, Irwin Vice Grip pliers. And uh, this I bought new. This is just a digital tire inflator because I got the new compressor you guys saw. So now I was like, you know what? I want something that's actually easy to fill up tires. So um, this tool is freaking sweet, guys. Uh, I used it once so far to, to pound out some uh, wheel studs. I will say, though, I wish it came with, like, the button style chisel. So I actually ordered that. That should be coming in a couple days. But it's a nice quick release style where it's not the spring. But uh, it sure does a good job of holding it. Uh, there was some reviews of this not working, and I wonder if I got the one that was not supposed to be working. Um, if you actually try to run this without a, a, a hammer in there, it just sounds like it's stalled, like it just it's puking air. And I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, so if you guys do get this and it's not running or you know seeming like it's working, make sure you got a chisel in there because that that does make a difference. Um, so this one is a $48 tool. Here, I'll show you. <clears throat> okay, so you can see right there, uh, I paid $30.27 for it. Um, boom, $48.44. Okay, so that's what that thing actually costs. Um, it was an open box. So if you guys are looking at anything like that, make sure if, if you see something that says it's an open item, buy it. Because I bought the, the bench grinder with that, I bought this uh, Capri Air Hammer, and now I got those long reach pliers too. So And every time they've been phenomenal. So here's another example. Um, the long reach pliers, I got these for $36. Oops, sorry. Give me... Thirty six, normally it's forty two, so that's eight bucks off there. And these things look brand new. So normally you'll see it right down here where it says uh, you can buy one for cheaper, blah blah blah, and you click on it. Yeah, like here, see these are all new, but you, if you'd see a different price if it was some used ones on there. Um, so what I'm learning with this is that uh, you, there's some more deals to be had other than the normal random sale price. But uh, So with that, I got the long reach pliers. I was doing an intake, intake gasket on a 4.3 Vortec the other day, and I really wanted uh, some nice straight long reach. All I had was the angle ones, like the 45. And these ones, uh, compared to a Harbor Freight, they definitely take a heck of a lot more force. To, to deform, but these still do deform, so they're not probably the highest quality. They are made in China. Um, mark of the Beast, right there. But uh, 8417 part number. Nice kit. I uh, haven't really used them yet. Stay tuned for that. But uh, it comes in a nice little roll. Uh, I'll just be mounting these on pegboards so they won't stay with that. But uh, I'll show you this in a minute. But let's. This thing was 20 bucks, 1969. And there was cheaper ones on there and I bought this because I thought it'd be a little bit nicer unit. Um, this feels pretty cheap, guys, I'll be honest. Uh, this little sticker when I first opened it was off, so I had to put that on. Um, this whole mechanism just feels cheap. Kind of here it's kind of crusty. I think this is like a plastic a tin coated plastic. So it definitely feels cheap. The handle has a nice texture to it. But it, uh, I mean, you know, it definitely doesn't seem all that great. So let's put it together and see how she works. The hose is kind of like that cheap sticky hose, you know. Um, I guess this goes here. The nice thing is that the fittings actually have O-rings on them. I can't even fucking, there we go. Cross thread the damn thing. Get my uh, <clears throat> knuckle buster on there. So it comes with batteries. 
put this guy on the bottom. Oh, hey guys, I got some stickers, so if anyone um, <clears throat> has any stickers, send them over. I'd like to kind of get a little um, display area going. So I asked Justin ATV, he said he was going to send me one. Flat Rate Master also said he was going to send me one. I haven't seen any yet, so hopefully they're still just in shipment. Okay, so we're going to pull the boot off to put the bat trace in. <clears throat> All right, let's go take these over and see uh, how it performs, huh? front of the camera so this is what this thing sounds like without a chisel in there like it's not really doing much this is what it sounds like when you got a chisel in there this thing is sweet guys uh, I haven't used an air hammer in a long time so I don't know how this compares to another but I think it's rated for like 60 foot pounds of torque uh, not sure how that compares to another. Uh, you guys tell me who's got other ones. How do these things compare? So let's see how this bastard works. This is nice. PSI. Oh, you said I hit that button to get the lights to come back on. I guess it seems like it works. I don't really know if these tires were that low. I guess it makes sense. That's why I had good traction when I was plowing. Let's see uh, how the other one looks. I'll put a link to this in the description. And this thing leaks as soon as you... Oh, maybe that's here. Let's assess this. Okay. Oh, that's just how you release the uh, extra air pressure. So let's say we want to get this exactly at 10 PSI. 10.8 Oh, 
Oh. Ah, looks to work pretty good, huh? Come on. Give me 20. Bah. I guess it seems to work good. Um, I guess initially I wasn't too impressed by the uh, quality of the feel of it, but uh, it seems to work fine. And I guess for 20 bucks, uh, I don't know what else I could expect. Um... Sorry guys, shop's kind of a pigsty. Yeah, like always, aren't they always a mess? <clears throat> Let's see. This one's got... It's cool, it's telling you what the compressor's at. says it's a 90 psi let's see how close that is that's pretty damn close I mean that's showing like 91 psi 92 psi so let's go back over here <clears throat> Eighty-nine. So maybe it's a couple psi off. Not much. I do like that feature. That's really nice. Sweet. Well, I guess, uh... I will continue to use this for a few weeks, guys, and I will return back with uh, with how she's uh, worked. So, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon.